Good morning, cute face. Mr. Cute Face, aren't you? What are you having for breakfast today, mister? Is that shredded wheat? No, it's supper. It's supper? But it's morning. Don't we have breakfast in the morning? No. Oh, has it changed to supper? No, it's cereal. Cereal. Chick food. Chick food. The chicks did eat some. <laughs> It isn't chick food though. The chicks just ate it. And Danny's got porridge over there with berries on, but he's not coming down. I'm coming down. Oh. You did. He's wide awake. He's been up. He's even been downstairs, but he's busy playing. He should get down. And here's Efi's computer. What do you do on there? You do what? He carries it around and says he's doing his work. And the girls, Daddy's just getting ready to take the girls to college. What's your name? I'm going out, Eve. No. Why? Because it's frosty here. So you have to stay in? Yeah. Daddy's got to go. No, it's frosty out. Do you think when it's frosty we should all stay in? Yeah. Go, 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 girls. It does make it frosty. Okay. Say bye, girls. Love you. Bye. Hello, everybody. Today I'm going to teach you how to survive a zombie apocalypse. Right now I'm just in my zombie shelter. And I'm going to teach you how to survive. I've got my weapons. I've got my bow and arrow, crossbow, my stick, and the sword. That's the things I have to survive a zombie or Papa X. By the way, hey, these are the weapons you use. Don't you use a gun and in case it runs out of bullets. Bring something like a sword or something. Here we are, Daniel's just finishing up some schoolwork. <laughs> And we are going um, to meet the girls for lunch. So Bethany and Lauren are at college it's a today. Stone in here. This is just a normal stone. Just ignore that stone then. Um, and they've asked if we'll meet them for lunch, which if your teenage daughter or your teenager asks to meet for lunch, meet them for lunch. Um, I used to do it with Shannon a lot. We used to go and meet her up for lunch, but because Ephraim, it fell at Ephraim's nap time, we haven't really done it with Beth and Law. Well, we haven't done it at all. So, now he doesn't have naps anymore. We've decided today we're going to go meet him for lunch. Um, so I'm just making a bacon sandwich for them each. They didn't know I was bringing anything. So hopefully they haven't bought anything. Um, we're picking Shannon up. Because she lives on the way to college. And we're all going to go and... Well, I'm going to say surprise them, but we're not. Because I told them just before they left. And uh, meet her with the girls for lunch. So... Yeah, it's nice that they want to spend time with us. I mean, they both have friends at college that they like to hang out with and spend time with, but we all like to hang out together. So we're just getting finished off with school. We've done our exercises this morning. And Daniel's finishing off a bit of school, I think. Ephraim is upstairs. He seems to have set up a game in his bedroom. Are you okay, Ephi? What are you doing up here? I'm Hulk, Mum. You're Hulk? Smashing all the trains, Mum. Right. He's Hulk smashing all the trains. I'll have to go and sort that disaster out when we've done. I'm just going to chop this pineapple for Daniel. And then after we met the girls for lunch, we're going out for lunch. We're going to go and have a nice uh, lunch. We haven't told Shannon yet. We'll go and buy lunch for my boys and Shanny. Yeah? These boys are just finishing their pineapple snack. And have you, have you started threading beads? Well, they're not beads, they're really are they? Um, what, what shape is this? Yellow. It's yellow, you are right. Um, you want to do it. Oh, you want me to help? And then he's finished his work and almost eaten all his pineapple. So you can go get shoes and coats, jackets, whatever we're having, and we'll get going. You did it! Oh. Whoop. Shall we go surprise the girls? I keep yeah. saying surprise them. Because it sounds more funny if I'm surprise them. them. But we're going to go give the girls some lunch. I've got them some sandwiches.
sandwiches here. Hopefully keep warm. Say no. <laughs> I told you we'd be coming. When? When you were leaving this morning. I did not hear that. Are you not happy that we've come? No, I'm fine. <laughs> I thought you were baking sandwich. I like baking sandwiches. But it might Shut be a bit cold freezing. now. Do you want to come in? Uh, yeah. Mum, mummy, what? We did surprise Beth. Mum, what? Mum. Yeah, don't touch it. Is this a nice surprise, Beth? Mm -hmm. I'm glad I yeah. came back this way. You get this oh. in my shoe. No, that's gross. <laughs> It says white tag. No, I don't. It's not just white tag. Can you get this? It's in white tag. No, I don't want to touch that. Can you get this in my suit? Yeah, of course. Off your what? Lick it. <laughs> it's it. Lick it off. Yeah. yeah. Right. Well, we're gonna say bye to Beth soon. She's not happy because it's not quite time oh, for it to go back. Me with that. I was like, what's going on? It's not quite time for it to go back to class. She, he keeps trying to get guys shoving me out of cat. <laughs> he wants. We're to go. going out to eat. Mommy, but yeah. We're not stuck forever, no, I didn't think we were stuck forever. So Lauren came and saw us for a few minutes, but we kind of think this was a bit of a poor excuse. She said she needed to go to the equator. I mean, I've heard some excuses. Why should why people... The equator, she then corrected because we were all like, you need to go to the equator. She said, no, the equator, what does she need to go to? Equestrian centre. She's Probably the Milky well, Way. <laughs> anyway, she just didn't want to hang out with us today. Even though it was her idea. Even though this was her idea, and we thought, yeah, hang out with the girls. Well, I'm glad I came for a walk because I won't. But we hung out. Walk. We got to hang out with you. But I'm going to be back in two hours. No way, I'm going back to college next week. It's the first off. few days back after Christmas. It's tough. I've got a week off next week. week. Here we go, the boys. What have you got, Ify, to eat? This, you're just going to point. Danny's chose a pasta salad and some pork pie. <laughs> just got back to Shani's house and we're looking at Belle's new house, aren't we? Yeah, Is she still sleeping too? Where yeah, was she? On the top. She's just asleep in there. Oh, there. Yeah, I like how Ben made the chair. You like so, it? Yeah. Why would you choose there to sleep? I don't know. He's With a head up. Oh. She's got a lovely little bell. He's making up. The boys helped put this together Wait, yesterday, yes. didn't you? Oh. Yeah. But you see, she waked too, up. So <laughs> Did she wake up? Why he come up or that up? She's trapped herself in, filling it with <laughs> paper. That snail, we're going to have to check on our snail later. We've got this giant snail at home, haven't we? Well, I was thinking, you know the tub that I had Bellin before? That might be better for a little snail. Because it has a... Oh, his house right. is yeah. so Oh, it's coming down backwards. She's coming up. Maybe she'd want it. Yeah. Oh, she's turning round. Now she's going to get trapped when she sees this paper. Yeah, she... Well, you want to go and down there have a drink? She wants to go and have a drink. Yeah. I've been shouted. Mum needs to come see something. What am I seeing? Whoa. Oh. Do you think you should be a bit further back from the target, honey? <laughs> <laughs> Who is that poor guy? That's a zombie. Oh. Yeah, I can see it now. You need to go a bit further away from the target. You ready? Oh, um, you're too quick for me. Too fast. So, Poppy is home. What have I done since I last filmed? So we're at Shannon's. I picked Bethany up, took Bethany to work, went for Lauren, but then Lauren stayed longer. So, dropped Shannon back at home, came home, and Michael's just come back with this one. And I am making some curry and rice. Um, I have to do two different types of rice because the kids love this chicken stock rice. I've been cooking, the house smells lovely, I've been cooking chicken bones and um, onions and vegetables and herbs and things all day. And then I cook the rice in that and then this is just plain boiled rice. Because the kids like chicken rice and boiled rice. So whenever we have a roast chicken they always want me to, the next, they're always saying, are you cooking the bones tomorrow? So that's what we've done here. And the curry's almost ready. Bethany should be back from work soon. So it should be done just in time. Are you drawing more details on your zombie? 
That was a bit of a uh, vague zombie. Oh, what are you doing there? Uh, uh, are you supposed to be up there? Yeah. Tell them about that uh, about the, that leopard. What? Did it, it, what did it eat? What did it catch in the water? Crocodile, mum. A leopard caught a crocodile. In the Is water that what you're and watching? dragged it out. Whoa. What are you after, baby? Dinner's ready. Oh, I see. You stole this hat from Shani's, haven't you? He says now he's got a hat, he just needs... A hat. What do you need now? A horse. A horse? <laughs> he got this hat, put it on and said, can we have a horse now? I think that's what you, what you wear when you ride a horse. Yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. Oh, are you a cowboy? Yeah. <laughs> it was magic. Okay, dinner's on the table. <laughs> Mr. Cowboy. Okay, Lolly, we've come to see this giant African land snail. I was a little bit shocked with how not giant. No, <laughs> so not yet. Because it's not actually. How old is it? Do you know? It's a baby giant African land snail. A baby giant. A baby giant. Well, I'm not going to be able to Jones. see it like that. No. Can you get him? Yeah. Is oh. it a he? Yeah. Well, they swap genders, the snails. What? Yeah, snail swap. Are you right? He's coming out. Is she right? It's what the said animals did. Oh, he's coming to say hello. What's his name? Charleston. Charleston. So here's the giant. I mean, it's going to get what? Bit as big as your hand? Yeah. That is pretty big, really. If I saw it in the garden, I'd think that was a giant snail. Yeah. So, only a baby giant. I can hardly walk in your room. Look at this mess everywhere. Yeah. Hmm. Messy girl. Yes, we have a baby giant snail. We have a baby giant. <laughs> baby giant. Yeah. And here's my baby baby. Actually, he's a big baby now, aren't no, you? I'm playing games. Oh, you're playing games? This is great. Do you know it's nearly bedtime? Soon. Soon, Eve. Yeah, soon. We need to... It's over the back. It's that seven up. Okay. I'll leave you to it. Because I'm running a bath anyway. We've all eaten cleared up and now I'm going to relax in there before putting Evie to bed because he hates going to bed. Up until last week actually, it was actually New Year's Day, um, up until then I have always cuddled Ephraim, like nursed him, well he breastfed to sleep until he was almost two, <laughs> a week before he turned two. Then I stopped breastfeeding him to sleep and um, started just I just carried on hugging him, hugging him. So I just nursed him, cuddled him, and until he fell asleep, which is lovely. But um, he wasn't sleeping. He's gone through even worse sleep. So on New Year's Day, as tired as we all were, I started putting him in his own bed. In he shares with Daniel at the minute because they both really want to share a room. Um, so he won't be needing this bed on the end of our bed, which has been a lifesaver. We have definitely, I mean, even though we've got a king size bed with this kid, we haven't had one with any of the other kids, that extra bed is good. Oh, in fact, it has been good, but we've slept down the crack. We're often like sleeping down the crack of the bed um, in between them. But yeah, he, I've started like, but I do lay with him. I don't leave him and just put him in bed and leave him. I lay with him on his bed until he's asleep now. The gentle way. We're trying the gentle way, hey? Big man, what is it? I need you to come see something. He's my boy. He's so my boy. Uh, uh, come see something. I asked the boys. Um, I told them I'd do anything they wanted for them sometime soon. What would they like me to do? He wants you to come see. You brothers are so cute. In Danny and your room. He wants you to see what he's done, Dan. Look. Look. So Ephraim's decided what he wants is for me to cook him loads of nice dinners all day. And Daniel thought about it for a long time and decided he wants me to clear the shed out with him. So come my boy. And come, come in. Here it is. What? Oh you put the light bulbs up. 
Did you put batteries in them? Yeah. You're amazing, but that is freezing. <laughs> well done, honey. What? Another boy shouting me now. What do you want, mister? Yeah? Um, kind of. Who moved all these bottles? Um, me. Mr. Strongman? Okay, so it's late now, so we're all just getting hot water bottles because it is freezing. Um, so yeah, please like and subscribe if you haven't. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching. <laughs>